those watching us from Kampala, Uganda's capital city and across the world, you're watching the news around Uganda. I am Rothina Sejia and these are the stories making the headlines across the country. Today we start with good news. Now, do you want to read the most balanced news in Uganda on your mobile? Or what about the captivating deep feature stories or the scintillating Kampala Sun title tattoos? Vision Group has made it easy for you. Uganda's number one media house has today set up a mobile application which will allow you to access all its print publications, including the New Vision, Kampala Sun, and Booked, and also other newspapers. Now, all you need to do is pull your app store page on your handset and look for Vision Group e paper, then download the application. Now, that is if you're using the Android phones. If you have an iPhone or you are using uh, you are on iOS, you can access the application via the media company's website, which is www dot newvision dot co dot ug now after you have downloaded and installed the application you will be asked to register and be given subscription options it is that simple you can even access the e version you can access the e the e version of the new vision at only one thousand shillings book a day is at five hundred Uganda shillings. Now, however, for the period running from December 22nd to January 6th, you can only you all you on all you need is to just download and install the application to access and read the newspaper free of charge. Now, let's hear from Robert Kapshenga, the Chief Executive Officer of Vision Group. So starting on the 22nd, Saturday with the Saturday paper, up to January 6th, the Sunday paper. Anybody who downloads the app will get free access during this trial period. So they'll get free access to any of our uh, print, uh, uh, e I mean, any of our e-papers, whether it's the New Vision newspaper of the day or Book a Day. As long as you, are, you have the app, you just click on it, you go in, there'll be no payment. You'll be able to read starting Saturday the 22nd up to January 6th. So that should be able to allow you to read the paper in your convenience. Okay, let's move on to more stories making the headlines across the country. We go to Bukoma and Simbi, where the police have arrested three people in connection with the brutal murder of two women in, Bus in Kabusa village, Butalanga Parish, in Bigasa sub-county. Now, the deceased have been identified as Margaret Nakafero, 65 years, and Siti Nakabo Nakabonye, 50 years. The incident occurred on Tuesday night and has since put the village on tension. Now, Anna known as silence broke into their house and hacked them to death. The resident who had gone to check on the women the following morning was shocked to find their bodies lying in a pool of blood. She made an alarm that attracted other residents who called the police to the scene. Latif Zake, the regional police commander, said their sniffer dog led them to a home of Edward Muyeyembwa, a neighbor of the deceased. Now, pre pre preliminary investigations indicate that there was a long-standing dispute between Nakafero and her brother, Vicente Se Senzoga, over a piece of land. However, it is said the village council had intervened to resolve the matter five years ago, but became reluctant at some point. Now you're still watching the news around Uganda. I am Ruth Nasajeta. Let's take a break. A look at what is making headlines in today's copy of the New Vision. Now the headlining story says why Museveni team raided Land's office. We have move comes after many complaints. The story is on page eight inside the New Vision. We also see Kasidia Gwanga on the farm. Okay, that is in the harvest money pullout this Friday. Then Uganda to earn 600 billion shillings from oil that is a must read on page four inside to this copy government rolls out chinese in schools do you want to learn how to speak mandarin ni hao all that you will find when you are in school now the front page picture today is really interesting we see ministers dancing pakachini you want to know who the ministers are New Vision has the story for you. All you have to do is just get the New Vision. Now, as I've told you earlier, if at all you can't access the hard copy 
of the new vision. Vision Group has set up an app for you. It is called Vision Group e-paper just go to your play store download it and you will access everything inside here on your mobile imagine if you're in a taxi and you cannot buy the new vision just go to your phone download the app and find the paper there now i see test new vision app this festive season the story is actually inside here in the new vision if you want to get to know more about this application moving on to more stories inside the new vision we see it was impossible to save crane bank says mutibiri why stories in here then attorney general presents kutesa case to parliament you want to know the details they are right here okay let's move on to more stories inside the new vision i see kasili guanga here in the harvest money pullout he has really interesting farming tips that you should learn and also maybe be part of the best farmers competitions that take are that happen every year now market watch not so rosy for farmers this is serious get to know what is really happening in the market from this harvest money pull out i also see and something here it is actually the calendar of 2019 if you want to if you don't want to buy your calendar at 1000 shillings i'm not sure of the prices but new vision has it for you for free just get your copy and find your calendar inside here okay we see the bit is also here it is a pull out that comes out every friday it says is christmas still exciting that is a question the bit has the story for you more in the bit where and about what you should expect this long weekend then is there life in kampala after jennifer that is a question and you should read the bit for that moving on to the sports docket we see our trip to the uk was a nightmare but that is a headline on the sports page and then all in the J. I see jubilations. Yeah, the story should be interesting and maybe it is something that you should read. Then you see Luero Best Campus are East Africa champions. That is definitely Luero. Get to know how they won the East African champions in the sports docket today. Then uh, Determined is another headline there. And then Revenge Mission on a card as pirates take on ARC rivals, Cobbs. Mm hmm get the new vision at only 2000 shillings on your st on you know on in the supermarkets and across various stores and you can also get this paper if you subscribe to the link below that is where you can find the e-papers of the new vision and when you subscribe you can get everything trust me all the publications plus the vision group e the vision group e-paper app just download it on your phone and we will be in business do you have Kampala Sun? You're still watching the news around Uganda. I am Rothina Se. Just continue looking at more stories, making the headlines across the country. Going to Amuria district. Now, the cattle stocking program in Tesu sub region could experience a setback if government does not address the problem of animal diseases. Beneficiaries of the program have raised concerns that they are facing challenges in containing diseases. They say if no help is provided, they are likely to lose all their livestock. The diseases affecting animals in the region include food to mouth disease, worms, fusolias, and contagious bovine pleura pneumonia. The residents urge the government to provide free drugs or subsidize or subsidize the prices of animal inputs. Rose Atai and John Mukama, beneficiaries from Wera Sub County, said some of their animals had been affected by tick borne diseases. Will Broad Opolod, a beneficiary of As Asamaku Sub County, said many animals in the area suffer from foot and mouthy disease. Apolod said diseases are spread by animals from Karamoja during the dry season, especially when herdsmen enter Teso in search for pasture. Christine Apiso, 62 years, a beneficiary from Dokoro Parish in Asamuk, said the only way to control diseases would be for the government to construct deep tanks and valley dams in different sub-counties. The concerns were raised during the distribution of over 400 50 heifers meant for the 2017-2018 financial year to selected vulnerable people in Amoria 
on Wednesday. Now closing off the bulletin is still a story from Amuria district where Henry Luca, who has been serving as a principal state attorney, has been laid to rest. Oluka died of heart complications at the age of 47. Before his demise, he had been cleared by the government to be flown abroad for surgery, but his condition was not stable enough for him to embark on the journey. Gloria Bananuka, the wife of the late, described her husband as a loving and caring father. Friends and workmen made it to Akisimu village in Amuria district on Tuesday to bid farewell to a man they knew as humble and intelligent. Chief Justice Bert Katrevi was represented by his deputy Alfonso Owinye Doro. Oluka served the ministry for 18 years. The Minister of State and Disaster Preparedness, Mosa Ichiru, Principal Judge Yokoram Bamwine, the Director of Public uh, Prosecutions, Mike Chibita, and judges were among the moments. Now that's all I had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch more news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV by visiting our website, which is www.newvision.co.eug forward slash video. You can also catch us on our social media platforms. Facebook is The New Vision, Twitter is at New Vision Wire, Instagram is at New Vision Wire, and our YouTube channel is New Vision TV. Find me on my Twitter handle. I am Ruth the Voice. Thank you for watching.